one of the greatest people in the game of golf. I mean, I can't believe it. This is a course that I've watched as a little kid growing up. I think this golf course is gonna be tough. Next on the 10th tee, Grand Horvath. I'm telling you, pars today are gonna be good. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Those are gonna be the ones that we gotta get past today. Famous 18 hole here at Bay Hill. We're gonna make this cut. Oh my God! I want to birdie this part five. We're going to have to birdie it the hard way. 7,400 is no joke. A lot of golf to still be played. There's no way this doesn't go in. Hey, yeah, you better than that. It always comes down like this. It seems to always work this way. These are the moments right here. You're already rolling. No, already. I was just about to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> I haven't actually watched it yet. Well, we're heading to Bay Hill. Getting all packed up. This is our like fifth cut series now. We're gonna be trying to make the cut in the Arnold Palmer Invitational. We got a three hour drive to Orlando. I'm pumped for this course. Bay Hill, here we come. Buckle up guys, it's gonna be a fun one. Oh, I got heartburn. Chick-fil-A got me. All right, not much more to go. All right, guys, it's 628. We tee off at 740. So we have a little bit over an hour to get ready. Bay Hill. I, I mean, I can't believe it. This is a course that I've watched as a little kid growing up. Super excited to get out there and play it. I love this tournament on the PGA Tour because the winner shakes Arnold Palmer's hand. Obviously not anymore since he has passed away, but that was one really cool thing about this tournament is that the winner got to shake Arnold Palmer's hand. Let's head and get some food and get a little warmed up for this round. We got a cut series coming for you. And if you guys do not know how that works, my videographer Skylar is gonna select a number that I'm gonna start out after round one. And I either have to fight back or I have to hold on to my lead. So I don't know what he's gonna start me at after round one, but with a golf course this hard, I would assume he's gonna give me a little help. Maybe start me out after at one under, two under, and see if I can hold on and make the cut. We're on pace today. This is a good day. It's rare. Oh, we are here. We have made it to Bay Hill. And it, the, I mean, still the sun's not even up. What time are you guys playing today? 7.40. 7.40, awesome, yeah. I'll get you guys loaded up. All right, we've just pulled up to the range here at Bay Hill. Let's go get dialed in. Let's hit some balls, find the golf swing. I think this golf course is gonna be tough. It's rare that you can, you can see your breath here in Florida. That is very, very rare. I've grown up here, so there's only like, you can count on one hand the days you get in Florida that you can see your breath, but for the round here. We got the new Celsius flavor. We're gonna get dialed in mentally, get the brain firing. We don't even need to warm up since we got the Celsius, but this is one of the new flavors, the Blue Raz Lemonade. It's fizz free. First taste test, it just came out. That's the best one, that's good. I, I actually like it without the fizz. That one's really good. Blue Raz Lemonade. We're gonna be drinking this, getting ready, guys. If you are at your local gas station and you see Celsius, make sure you grab one for me. Huge thank you to Celsius for sponsoring today's video and being a huge sponsor of the channel. I told myself I wouldn't whip out the set until until I broke 80s. <laughs> oh, Claw's been in front of the camera. He's gonna be driving with us, riding with us today, talking about the course. You know this course pretty well. I played it twice. I hope I can help you out. I yeah. mean, I'm, sh I'm, sure, I'm sure you got it, but I'll yeah. try and help you as much as I can. Okay, perfect. We got two drivers in the bag. You're it's that, a tough look. No, I'm not that guy. It's like two phones, you know? I was gonna ask about that. No, no, I, I don't know why. I accidentally, I had the Max and the LS. I was uh, testing them out, but I like, I'm, I'm gonna stick with the LS. Never a good sign, it's like seven putters in the bag. I usually have like seven putters, so. <laughs> Here we go, heading over. It's cold, it is really cold. It's, it's gonna take us, it's almost freezing. So, the cut for 2023 at the Arnold Palmer Invitational was plus two. What do you want me to start at after, hypothetically, round one? Plus one. You want me to start at plus one? I'm sorry, I know this course is hard, but plus one. So I am starting at plus one today. So, basically what I gotta do is I gotta go out and shoot one over or better, and I will make the cut. Next on the 10th tee, Grand Horvath. The announcing the, of the names, intimidating. They let everybody know, I mean the neighbors know that we're teeing <laughs> off now. It was that loud. I mean if your mom probably knows like, 
miles Probably. away. We were starting on the 10th hole. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I remember this hole. Actually, I watched Bubba Watson. Yeah. When I watched this event, I watched Bubba take it over that house and cut it back. Jeez. Out of bounds. Not surprised. He took it out of bounds and cut it back. That is insane. First hole of the day, par four, dog leg to the right. I think I think I see. You gotta hit the fairway here. I, I think I see where I gotta hit this. Oh come on now. Sit there. I think it's short. I think it's short. I hit it good. Yeah. Dang! Anyway, so. How did that happen? <laughs> Look what happened to my teeth. I've never seen that happen. Took a chunk out of it. I took a chunk out of it. I don't even think I hit the ball. Here we go. That's a good start. Solid drive. I always talk about it, guys. My body is not used to 49 degrees, but we're gonna make it happen today. We're gonna make this cut. I think I'm in this bunker up here. Yeah, you pieced that one pretty good. And you're going straight at it. Yeah, I got it pretty good. Call me a pro though, but I'm, I'm far from a pro. No, because the sound off your driver is different from anyone out from, I mean, from the people that we play with, you know, the normal people. Yeah. yeah. You sound just like uh, the people out, the, the pros out here during the <laughs> Invitational. It sounds crazy. But like, yeah. I don't know if it's the new driver or if Maybe it's the how new it driver. Sounds. It's the QI10. You never yeah. know, man. Beautiful morning. The sun's going to come off. It's going to get warmer. My golf game is going to get warmer along the way. I can feel it. But we actually stayed up. We're just in the rough. I don't know if this is going to jump, but I think I'm going to hit a nine iron. Try and pinch it out of here. See if it jumps a little bit. It's wet. Oh, you're good. I like it. No, it's great. No, you, you can do that all day. You can hype me up all day, man. It's all good. All right, guys, we're off to a good start here. When we're this cold, I, I know I'm making a lot of excuses. I got it. The body firing, and that's a good start for me. It's a really good start. It's only going to get warmer. 49 degrees, mm -hmm. and there's no wind, it's okay. Mm -hmm. But if it was 49 degrees and it was windy right now, Miserable. we couldn't even like No, I'd be shivering yeah. over the ball. But we're good, there's no wind. So you've yeah. been doing YouTube. You have a family yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah, we kind of slowed down because we're building out a restaurant. But yeah, I've been doing YouTube since 2016. And, and you we have a million subscribers. Yeah. yeah. That's, guys, <laughs> he has a million subscribers on YouTube. That's pretty crazy. We used to daily vlog, that's why. For four yeah. years straight, we didn't miss a day. I'm gonna link his stuff in the description. <laughs> Shout out to him for just setting this up. Yeah, check it out. Straight uphill putt here on the first hole. Got about 25 feet. Whew, a little short. I got it. I left myself with a tester on the first hole here for par. Straight up the hill. Come on. That was a good start there, guys. Par on the first hole, heading on to hole number 11 out here. We started on the back nine. So last year, did you come watch this event? I, I did. know Rory. Rory yeah. was playing really good at this event last year. He almost won. I think he lost by one shot to Kurt. Yeah, so I walked in. It was the first golf event I've ever been to. I walked into the 18th tee and John Rahm, Colin Morikawa, and Rory just teed off right in front of me. All walked in front of me, watched them play 18. It was, it was, I was spoiled. I walked oh, in yeah. and that's what I saw first. And the first like, time watching a pro hit a golf ball is like when you're a kid, it's yeah. the craziest thing. Yeah. Or even when, if you just got into golf, it's yeah, the yeah, craziest it's, thing It ever. was wild to me. It's just yeah. like watching you. <laughs> Second hole of the day. <laughs> what? It's Florida. That's crazy. It's Florida. I can see my breath. I, I've never, which is nuts. Par four here to the left. There's water all down the left side, but it's 310 to the water, so I can hit this driver full. I don't have to worry about it. That was it. Hit the fairway. Now let's hit the green. Let's just keep doing that all day. If we hit the fairway in the green and we make a putt or two, we should be pretty good. <laughs> you guys are a cool group. Yeah, no, it's just me and Sky and then my wife comes uh, and feels no, Yeah, very cool group. She doesn't always travel with me. Mostly just Sky and I and then yeah. we'll have like another guy come, but Sadie's been doing 
really good on the camera since I started YouTube. Yeah, I saw I saw that. Dude, that's super awesome how supportive she is. Yeah. And she's always out here. And you guys can spend time together on the golf course. Right. What more can you ask for? I know. And she has super steady hands when yeah. she zooms in. Way uh -huh. steadier than any of my, <laughs> any, like, than me or my friends or anybody. Yeah, 210 into this par four. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, that's wrong. That's wrong, yeah, that's wrong. 170. Yeah, there's like a there's like a moment of silence there when I shot that. Um, set 170, okay. That's a six iron today. See, I gotta account for the cold weather. It's gonna go a lot shorter. So I'm gonna hit a pretty easy six iron here. Oh, come on, come on. Here we go. Is that the pin? Got a putt for Verdi on the second hole. This this hole has to be one of the tougher holes on the golf course. It's 7,400 yards from where I'm playing. Yeah, but you just played the Panther, so. Yeah, the Panther, Panther National was pretty long, but 7,400 yards today, that's really long. So I'm just happy to hit the first greens in regulation. Very similar putt to the first hole here, straight up the hill, gotta go right to left, but I don't think it's a ton. Man, it looks really straight. I'm just gonna go right for it, be aggressive. Okay, par par start. I'm telling you, pars today are gonna be good. From 7,400 yards, the tips out here cannot complain about a par. Your friend Mitchell, that's having us out here today, just said that that was the hardest hole that he believes on the course. So we got that out of the way. Yeah, you parred it. Parred it. It's almost like a birdie. Feels like a birdie. Even par after two holes here. Wow, what is this? Oh, par five, here we go. Here we go, par five. I almost came here just because of this for these tees. I've seen people have these tees. This is the little Arnold Palmer logo. These are his colors. Arnold Palmer, man. One of the greatest people in the game of golf. Par five, let's split the fairway. It's pretty narrow up there, this fairway. Oh, I hit that good. I think that bunker, I pound, that was, Dang it. Yeah, that was the one. That was way better contact than the first two drives. Hit that solid, it's just, I think that's in the bunker on the right. I gotta say though, I had a really good warm up session and it's not always guaranteed after you have a warm up session, a good warm up session, you're gonna play good golf. But I do have a little bit of confidence there in my swing. Hopefully I can hit my targets today. So far, we're gaining, we're building confidence, but I wanna birdie this par five. We're gonna, we're gonna have to birdie it the hard way if we are in the bunker. Let's see how long this is. 573 par five here. That's pretty long. It's almost a 600 yard par five. So even if I hit a really good drive, I don't think I could have got there in two shots with it being so wet out here. Wow, we got some long holes coming up. Par threes are 230, 220, 196. Par threes are gonna be the tough one today. So stick around for this, it's gonna get wild. The 18th hole out here when I watch the PGA Tour event, that's actually, that's our ninth hole today. So that's gonna be coming up really soon. Well, we are in the bunker here, but we have a good lie. The sand is actually a little firm because it's still damp from the morning. It's got the morning dew on it. We're gonna be able to pick it off of here. I'm gonna hit a five iron. Don't want to get too crazy. Just give ourselves a good layup shot and a wedge in. Sit there. Sit. Good job, good shot. Oh, just in the rough. Wow. I caught that thin and it went through my body. I caught that ball a little thin. It's still probably 50 degrees, 49 degrees right now. You feel it when you hit it thin and it's cold. So I, I know a lot of you guys do know that feeling though when you're out of the bunker or in the fairway, wherever you are and you're, you're really cold and you hit a thin shot and it goes through your body. Like you can feel it in your hands. It almost makes your hands numb. That didn't feel too good, but it worked out. I only know that because I lived in Michigan when I started playing golf and Pennsylvania for a little bit as a kid. When I would hit thin shots, I'd be so scared to hit like a long iron, like a four iron because I would hit it thin it go through my body. 147 yards, third shot on this par five. Just look at this. We are just in the rough. Kind of a bummer, but it's all good. Same yardage, basically the same yardage as the first hole, same club, I'm going with a nine iron. Be good. Sit there, sit. I have no idea what's up there. All right, I have no idea what this green looks like. 
I feel like sometimes though it's better to not even know what a golf course looks like or where to, you know, where the trouble is because sometimes you, you commit more to the target. I think that's a pretty good shot. We're gonna have a putt, a look at birdie. If you guys hear a very, very loud security system going off, it's right there. It, it, no one even lives in that house and their security. I gotta make this putt. I feel like, which is really weird, but I feel like I've had the same putt every hole. Up a hill sure. to a putt that's up on top of like a ridge. No way. That's a par. The birdies are gonna come. Three pars to start out. We're playing some steady golf though. If we're making pars out here, I am never gonna complain. Even on par fives like this. After that tee shot being in the bunker, you never know what's gonna happen. Guys, hopefully you are enjoying the cut series today. Um, I love doing this, traveling around to different PGA Tour courses and trying to make the cut. Um, Skyler, today he set me at one over after round one. So the cut in the 2023 Arnold Palmer Invitational was two over. So if I shoot one over today, I would still make the cut on the cut line, but I don't wanna even think like that. I wanna just shoot under par today, try and really play some good golf. Par four here. It's 310 yards to the water. I can't reach it. It's wet. The ball's not really rolling out much. I'm gonna go with the driver again. Par four. Where'd that go? Perfect. Oh yeah. Right down the left side. That was just down the left side, good swing there. I teed it down a little bit lower. When I tee it down lower, I can almost count on it to find the fairway, but I lose a little bit of yardage because I try and hit down and trap it. I think we're gonna be perfectly in the fairway. I saw that ball land and there was like a trail of water shooting up as it was rolling. It's kind of cool. And all the sun's coming out. It's, feeling good. it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna it be is. like 70 degrees, 65, uh -huh. 70. Yeah. Perfect condition. Florida's been, we've had some rough weather, yeah. but it's starting to like settle down. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get really nice. To Tornado wear. watch the other day. I know. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, I was like about to get in my bathroom and knock it down. <laughs> hide in the bathroom. Yeah, hide in the bathroom. 114. Oh, wow, the sun's coming out now. 114, 52 degree, going right at it. Oh, be good. Yes, sir. Be good. Yes, sir. You know, I'm going to say this is a birdie hole, but I don't want to jinx it. This is a birdie hole, come on now. Try and make this putt. It's had a lot of good looks so far, Not, nothing real short, but this is the shortest putt we've had for birdie. I get just as excited to watch that drone shot when I'm gonna watch this video on the couch. I'm more excited to just see how that ball like comes in there and spins than, than anything. There is no excuse for missing a putt out here. These greens are too good. So this course is actually pure. This place is pure. So the thing is right now, the Arnold Palmer Invitational is happening really soon. So this course is getting all doctored up. Yes! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Are you taking the flag oh, with yeah. you, man? <laughs> He's about to walk off with the flag, take it home. But we're one under through four holes. Happy we made that. Can't miss that one. Good birdie. Yep. Now we have a 200 yard, 220 yard par three. Coming off a of birdie, we're one under through four holes to start out this video. I can't wait to see the rest of this golf course. It's so pure right now, the conditions are unbelievable. I'm gonna go with a four iron, swing it easy. Actually, I really didn't think that was gonna carry, but we are in the bunker. Fine though, I almost get excited when I hit in a bunker. I love bunker shots. Look at the conditions. You can tell Dude. they're getting ready for it. I know, they yeah. really do. When, when there's a tour event coming, oh, man. they make these courses so pure. Yeah. Sky was saying this, the rough reminds him of uh, Torrey Pines. Yeah, it does. Similar. It does, yeah. Oh, we're gonna be able to get up and down from there. That's, I like that bunker shot a lot. Guys, we're just in the bunker here. It's not an easy shot, but the one thing that we do have is the grass is really dark, so I know that we're into the grain. It should spin if we clip this off the sand good. Should check up. Ah. Oh, oh. No, it's a little long. Woo, we're gonna have a tester putt now. We're gonna be hitting a downhill putt. I tried to keep that short of the pin, this guy. I just had to spin it a little more. I'm gonna be very gentle with this, right to left down the hill. 
Barely touched it. Nice. That's a bogey, that's all right. It's a tough par three. The par threes I was telling you earlier in the video, those are gonna be the ones that we gotta get past today. They're gonna be tricky. Or even par, two shots inside the cut line. Those putts are so tricky to me because you can either take the break out, play it more aggressive, yeah. but then you're gonna have more coming back. Yeah. Or you take it out to the right and let it fall in there super soft. And the greens are so fast right now. I know, I tried to do like the, the, the dripping in, yeah. like letting it fall in, but I just uh -huh. hit it right through the break. So I'll be very gentle with it, but even par, played some solid golf up to this point. Oh my gosh, I remember this hole. Yeah. Actually yes. during the tournament, yes. they tee up before the street. Really? Yeah. But so they hit it over those hedges. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Mitchell for getting us on here today. Bay Hill, par four here. This is cool. This is cool. Never played here in my life, so, but I've watched this plenty on TV. We got this driver working today, the new QI-10. I think we're gonna be perfectly in the middle of the fairway. I don't know when this video is coming out, but I think it's gonna come out before February 7th. If you guys don't know, or if you do know, Garrett and I are gonna be teaming up for the event February 7th. We're gonna be teammates for this live event that's gonna be live streamed. I'm excited for it, so I'm kinda getting ready for that right now. I'm 2,500 tickets are gonna be available. So it's gonna be a lot of people. I'm excited to meet you guys if you're out there, but I'm getting ready for it right now. I'm trying to dial in the game. I wanna win it. Garrett and I really do wanna play some good golf. We've talked about it. We wanna go out there and try and win this thing. Well, clean those grooves. Shout out Wesley Bryan. He changed my life when he uh, told me to keep my grooves clean. Now I'm always making sure they're clean. I can see a difference. We are in the fairway here. 150 yards, this is a really popular yardage today. We're going with the nine iron again. Let's go right at this pin, full one. Starting to get a little warmer, so the ball's gonna naturally go further. So I gotta account for that. Right there. Oh, a little long. Long and right, I think caught almost like a little bit of a flyer out of the lot or out of the rough here. It's wet. Golf's a crazy game though, cause like it was cold this morning. I basically have to adjust on the fly to the ball going further. And that shows right there. We're over the back of the green. First chip of the day. Well, there's this collection area over the back of the green. It's almost like a fringe up the hill. Oh no. No, put there. Came off a little hot there. Gotta make a putt now. Gotta drain this. Right to left for the par. Let's drain it. Hold it. Ah. That's two bogeys now. We're gonna get it back. Par five here. Coming up next, we're one over par. One shot inside the cut line. It's time to bounce back now. After that, that's a really bad bogey after hitting a drive like that. That one stings a little bit, but it's a par five. I gotta walk back there. They're putting the grandstands up. Oh yeah, okay, I'm getting after this par five in two shots. There is the famous 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Lots happen on this hole right here. It's kind of cool, we're almost playing it in tournament conditions right now. It's not an easy course. All right, we're downwind on this par five. This is huge. Couple after four. Oh yes. Oh my gosh, it was that close to going in the bunker. I was thinking to myself, that one in the bunker, there's no shot I can get there in two, but it just carried the bunker on the edge there. We're getting after this in two shots. Well, after the drive, we ended up just in the rough here. We landed right here. We made a ball mark, ended up here. We have 194 to the pin, downwind. Not much green to work with. I'm gonna go with a six iron, going right for it. Oh, come on. Sky, that's all over it. It's <laughs> short. Sure. No, it's just it's just in the rough. Oh dang, I got so excited there. I thought that was gonna land a foot away. We're just short, gonna have a chip to get up and down for birdie. I didn't even know there was water up there. <laughs> no way. You guys kept saying the water. Now that I'm thinking of this hole, there is water everywhere. You can't see it from that second shot, but we're good. If I pulled it though, I was in the water oh, yeah, all sure. day. 
You got that, shoot that in for eagle. Up and down here for birdie. It's sitting in this like, I don't even know, what would you call this, like the fringe? Pretty furry fringe. Yeah, it's like a very thick fringe. I don't know how it's gonna come out of here. It's gonna treat it like a normal chip. I got a feeling. I said it. I did. You said you had a feeling it hit the pin dead center. I said it. Oh, dang, man. All right, we got work. That came out pretty good, though. I didn't know how it was going to come out of there. It came out hot. Okay, down the hill, a little right to left. That hit the pin. That could have gone in so easily. All right, I'm going to play this right center. I don't think it moves a ton. Let's make this for birdie. That could have gone in so easy. It hit the center of the pin. You just rode the lip, hit the pin, and walk out with a par. Whew. Banging this cup up, man. I feel like I played that hole perfect, and I'm still walking away with a par, but we're one over par, still playing good golf. On to this par three that I have seen a million times. On national TV? National, national television, I've watched this hole. Like, I feel like I hit every shot perfectly. It hit the The pin. chip wasn't great, it was it was hard. I got lucky, but it still could have gone in. Like, it, that chip could have dropped. When it hit the pin, I thought it was dropping. Yeah. I didn't know, I've never chipped, like that fringe here is yeah. something like I've never seen in Florida. Really? Yeah, it's like furry, thick fringe, and it's a different color. It's like a light yellow. Man, you played a lot, so that's interesting for you to say. Never have seen that rough, or that fringe. I gotta say, this event, the Arnold Palmer Invitational has been going on for so long, and it's just an event that I vividly remember almost every hole out here. We're seeing this par three here, this one's tough. We got 175 yards into the breeze. I'm going with a five iron. We're one over par. Still one shot inside of the cut. No! Oh. Oh, it took one bad bounce there. Lots of bunkers today. I know, I'm going in another bunker. I thought that was it. It just overdrew a hair. Almost hit the drone. <laughs> It's coming close, yeah. I gotta say, I'm really excited for the Bryson DeChambeau hole coming up where he hit the shot and he went like this. It's the one par four. What hole is that coming up where Bryson hit that tee shot and like- Oh, that's hole, I think, five or six? Par, uh, five. par five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's par you five. can get really aggressive. Yes. I'm yeah. excited. That's coming up that's on our back nine because we started on number 10, but- it's beautiful, and if we're lucky, there's a huge gator that always sits like near the tee box. Really? On the tee box? Near it, it's like far off the bank. Huge, like a 10, 12 foot gator, huge. And he just kind of lives there. Yeah, I've seen him twice. This is cool. We're in the bunker here, but the grandstands are still all being put up right behind us. We're gonna have to get pretty crazy with this. We do not have much green to work with at all. We're gonna have to open up the face, get some speed, try and make it land soft. Pretty good out of that. Didn't want to come up short. If you open it up that much, you can go right underneath it. I kind of feel bad. I got sand all over the green right there. Believe it. Let's see it. Right to left. I believe. I believe. I believe. Let's go, baby. We're inside the cup, baby. We're one over today. On to the 18th hole. That feels really good. Yeah, because you were just telling me that your putter is letting you down I off did. camera. I just told you that off camera. The one thing that's let me down today is the putter. That feels good. Little confidence booster. On to the iconic 18th hole. And we have nine more to go. But I feel really good about the golf swing. Eighteenth hole, we have made it. We're gonna take it straight up this little walkway. And then the second shot, we got the rocks guarding the green over the water. One over par, heading into the ninth hole. No. Good lap. Yeah. Well, we're hitting a provisional. I think that's out of bounds on the left. Not the way you want to start out. The little white soldiers got me on the left, I think. We're gonna see if it's in, but it was head pretty far left. Let's hit a provisional here. Can't hit any better than that. Come on. We're gonna make bogey the hard way if we have to. 
There's nothing worse in the world than out of bounds. You know what we can ask this lady petting her dog? <laughs> yeah, we'll ask her. <laughs> you see a golf ball in her backyard? <laughs> Probably almost hit her dog. That really stinks. We're out of bounds. We are just out of bounds, barely. At least our second one's in the middle of the fairway. Let's try and get up and down and make a bogey. That would be a bogey if we get up now. I'm, I'm staying in this though. There's no giving up. I'm gonna fight to the final hole. Let's try and get up and down now. Dang, it was so close too to staying in. Up and down now, it's a challenge. I like it. 177, we're gonna go with a six iron, not a full one. If it was at the pin, I just closed the face down. That's one thing when I'm trying to assess a shot, I usually try and read these divots, but that divot's pretty close. Should be going right at the pin. Face was just close, and so now I know it's face. But center of the green, we got 40, 50 feet for bogey on 18. I'm glad that's not the finishing hole because we still have nine more holes to go, nine more holes to bring it back. A lot more golf to play. Play some good golf, yep. Sorry for the noises, guys. They're grinding on these green stands right here. I remember there's a famous clip of Tiger Woods making a putt and like fist pumping like crazy. For the double, I hate saying that, but it happens. For the double to shoot a three over on the front nine. Still, 39. Let's see if we can do it. We're gonna grind, we're staying in this. I got a lot of confidence right now in myself to come back, so three over. Let's see if we can do it. What a beautiful golf course. It is up here, first tee in front of Mr. Palmer. In front of Mr. Palmer. Oh yeah, yep, 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 there's the first hole. Oh, there's Arnold Palmer. Yep. Look at him. Look at him holding that ball through, is. man. All right, first tee shot now. Mm -hmm. Heading to the front nine. Par our 10th hole, par four. Here we go. Dog leg left, par four. I'm just going to go out at those bunkers. This is a long course, guys. 7,400 is no joke. about as good as I can hit a drive. Perfect. I can't believe we hit it out of bounds. I'm still dreading it. That's what you gotta do with golf. You gotta let it go, but it made one Thanks, bad golf swing. And it cost me two shots there, but we're gonna fight back. I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. Get over the trees? No, I took it just over the corner here. Oh, okay, nice, nice. But yeah, no, that driver, we were just talking about it. Yeah. It sounds very different than the Stealth, the QI-10. Yeah, I love the sound. I yeah. love it. It's sound. very, very different. It's like a little bit better yeah. than the Stealth. I'm very lucky because I don't think our stores even have it. And to see you playing it, Two. I just saw it yesterday on Instagram. Yeah. And then now it you're might playing be, it. Yeah, it <laughs> might be available. Guys, speaking of that, I'm going to have a link in the description. If you use that link, you can go and purchase a QI-10. It helps me, supports me. Guys, this first hole here, I just hit a great drive on this first hole. It is 460 yards. How far do we have? 169, 170 after that drive. Actually, yeah. it looks so long, but. Were you in meters? I don't know, I have no idea. Your range finder was in meters. I have. How do I change this? Uh, you gotta do, there's something in the settings of your range finder. How do you? Oh do you my gosh. Settings? I think you're, yeah, I think you are in meters. Oh man. Dude, this is why I'm playing so bad. <laughs> Yo, Yo, you get the wrong yardage. Yeah, you're in meters. I am? You're oh, in meters. I'm so sorry. I've been giving you the wrong number all day. Bro, this is my so first funny. range finder I've ever had. That's crazy. So I don't know. Yeah, you gotta change it out of meters. Oh, I was like, there's no way that's 170. I have 190 to the pin. I was shooting at Mitchell's like, no, 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 mine's something different. That's I've been coming up short all day. I've used two of his yardages today. No way. And I've come up short both, so. We gotta fix Qua's rangefinder though. I gotta get the thing out of meters. 190. I was thinking to myself, this is a 460 yard par four. If I had 160, I mean I would have hit that drive really far, but we got 190. We're going with a five iron. Gonna have a long putt. Anything on the green though, when it's a 460 yard par four, you gotta take it. Sorry. No, you you did I'm so sorry. I don't even think, no, I don't even, I think I've used maybe two of your yardages today. All right, but those, it counts. I feel so bad. No, I'm no. I'm so sorry. I, I, this is my first range run. I, I have no idea. I'm new to golf, okay? I don't know. I feel so bad. I, I can't even use this. 
We gotta fix it. I think you got it. You got a good good range finder. Let yeah, me see I this do, thing. I do. He's got the good good range finder. All right, hold on. I gotta fix this thing for you. Okay, that's slope. Wait, maybe you gotta hold this in. How do you fix? Huh? I, I can't help you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're stuck in meters, it, man. I don't it's know how okay. to work this thing. I'll just eyeball it. <laughs> Big pot here. This is like 50 feet. Huge left to right pot. Got to feed it in there. Come on in there. Good pot. I, I wanted to lag that somewhere close because this is one of the toughest holes on the course here. Let's see if we can make this for par. I left the pin in for you guys so you can see the hole. I've actually read some comments. I know you guys, it's hard to see the hole when I take it out. So it might have helped me there with speed. We are still three over par, one shot now outside the cut line. We're gonna have to play some good golf. So you, your brain now is like on meters after that. Yeah, I, I don't know what a yard is anymore. <laughs> Dude, you're stuck on meters. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, meters are like, I think it's like 50, it's 10%. There's a, there's a calculation for yeah. meters versus yards, but there's yeah, you're definitely, it's shorter. Uh -huh. It's way shorter okay. than yards. Yards yeah. is always gonna be longer yeah. than meters. That's why I've been playing bad. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. That's the sole reason I was doing My man Mitchell that got us on Bay Hill today just told us that the three holes here, the three starting holes at Bay Hill were the toughest three holes to par on the PGA Tour last year. Second hole of the day here is 236 yards. I'm hitting a hybrid into this par three. Oh, come on. Good. Come on. Be good. Be good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Great shot. Perfect. Gosh, that felt good. That felt so good to hit the green from 236. Got a putt, I'll take it, man. Now that I've heard that these three holes to start out are the hardest on the PGA Tour, I just wanna par them. I gotta say though, guys, I've, I've let you know this before. I'm not a huge fan of long par threes. I feel like in today's game, they've gotten so long that like every par three I'm playing is 220 or 230. And I love like the short ones with the undulated greens. There's nothing better than when you hit a shot on a 230 yard par three with a hybrid or like a three wood and it's going right at the pin. There is no better feeling because it's in the air for so long. Let's make an unexpected birdie here. I'm gonna leave the pin in for you guys. If I hit this pin though and it doesn't go in, I'm gonna never leave it in. Oh, sit. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. All right, good putt. I pulled it. I pulled it so bad and the hole caught it. Oh, that was not a good, that was not a good par putt, but that's two pars to start out, two of the toughest holes onto a par four here. I remember this one from walking this course years ago. This one's not easy. Downhill to the left. And then after that, we have the iconic hole that Bryson hit the shot, the par five coming up. All right, wow, what an intimidating tee shot this is. Very, very narrow up there. You have water left, rough right. 435 yards, here we go. Just a little right. Okay. I just saw it come down. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was wet. <laughs> um, to lean on my driver there almost ate it this is a peak this is a peak um you know male really athleticism athletic of you. yeah i'm a peak male athletic person here um in the in the rough there it's gonna be thick out of that rough that's the issue with missing the fairway it's gonna be tough to get it out of there but we're going for this not laying up on a par four i'm not mad about that tee shot at all we just got to see now what the lie is going to be like in the rough here not easy at all what a tough hole all right well we are sitting in the rough here now the thing is i'm going to be able to get this club on the ball we're going to be okay it's 174 yards to the pin i'm not really going to go for this pin i'm going to go just right of it and let it roll back there i want to land this about 165. oh Come on, it's all in there. Okay, take it all day. Stayed out there. Not bad, I just was trying to keep it right of the pin there. I was aimed a little right, but it's gonna work out just fine. Should be an easy chip. Chip shot here, this is very makeable. Right to left, gonna feed it up there, let it fall in. Oh no, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my chipping. My chipping today. It's usually my strong suit. Wow. 
That was interesting. I gotta make this. This is a long power putt. Let's drill it though. That's an unfortunate bogey, but oh man. Long par five, you gotta thread the needle here. There's trees on the left. Let's get after this one. my tee went. All right, that's gonna be just fine. It's in the rough on the right. Try and birdie this par five. You used to draw every. Yeah, so you used to draw every single ball. When yeah. I, I first started watching, every drive you hit was a draw. Yeah, and I don't know what's happened. <laughs> well, no, you still hit it great. But a funny story is I start, whenever I first started playing golf, it was because my friend bet me that um, I couldn't beat him in a year. Uh -huh. that, that was the reason why. In a and year of practice. In a year of practice, okay. yeah. And then, so I found, my brother introduced me to you, uh, you and Garrett on Good Good. Uh -huh. So I started watching you guys. So I actually learned how to play golf watching you two. That's crazy. The whole scoring, every like, course management, the swing, everything, I just watch you guys. That's so cool to hear. Yeah. That's awesome. And man. so I always wanted to play your draw, and now I do. I, dude, you do draw it. And I, I, yeah. I actually am kind of hitting a fade now, which is mm -hmm. ironic. I'm trying to get this hybrid out of the rough here. I usually don't do this, but I want to give myself the closest look to the green here that I possibly can. just jumped in the rough. You can tell they are getting it ready for the tournament because this stuff is no joke. The conditions get really hard. That's what I feel like people don't understand is just how difficult they make these PGA Tour events with the rough and how firm the greens get. But it's really cool to almost play under the same conditions. We are in the bunker here, but the good thing is we're gonna have like 100 yards. So we're gonna be fine. We can clip it off of there. But I've never been good at laying up. My, I know my dad's watching this right now and he's wanting to punch the screen because I just laid up in the bunker. I used to do that in college and he got so bad. Oh man, I've never been good at laying up. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, I, I don't know. I got a thing for fairway bunker shots. It's unhealthy. If it landed here, I can't believe it didn't just rip back. Like, but well, we got a little bit of work here. We got an easy six, seven feet. Okay, left to right, playing this left edge. I did not move an inch. That's a par, guys. Unfortunate, I thought I was gonna make that one, but par four and then par five coming up. Finish strong here, come on. We are four over on the day. Stepping on this tee box right now, the fifth hole. A lot of golf to still be played. We're gonna come in strong, I can feel it. Hit a good tee shot here. See if we can make birdie, but let's birdie this hole after this, the par five. that it's in the bunker bunker again I probably I think I hit it closer out of the bunker than the fairway so I tried to carry it I think we ended up in it probably only gonna have a little wedge in though to this hole this is a shorter hole feels good though playing from 7,400 yards today any short holes feel really good here we go guys same yardage as the last hole 102 yards to the pin <laughs> going with the same club same everything copy and paste Got a spin though. Yeah, that's gotta be pretty good. Pulled it just a degree. Man, it felt great though coming off that sand. Gotta be on the putting surface. It's actually a good shot. I had no idea it was this close to the pen. We got 20 feet, 15, 20 feet here for birdie. Looks like a double breaker. Okay, should go a little left then back, a little right then back to the left. Thank you. We're heading to it. Next hole is the iconic par five. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can birdie it. We're gonna take an aggressive line off the tee, try and make birdie or eagle. Hey, 
BB, you keep it down back there. <laughs> Say live bet? Hey, Mitch, I've had him 100. He's he not going to make par from there. Hey, 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 we play against you next. Not making hey, par? Make wow. Hey, That's up. harsh, man. Par? All right, 100 bucks. I'll win 100 bucks if I par this hole. Come on. In the rough here, we have a good lie. We have 240 to the front edge. I think I'm gonna aim right at the green. See if I can get close to carrying this on the green. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I cannot believe I just threaded that little tiny fairway. My goodness, if I pulled that, two, like three yards left, that thing is in the water. That's crazy. I could not have gone for it. It didn't even have enough in the tank. I gotta say, that was maybe my best shot all day. That was beautiful. I was like, if I did not take it on that little tiny uh -huh. line there, the fairway's like this wide, uh -huh. I would have been in the water. Yeah, no, you, you hit that to perfection. And honestly, your tee shot, you could have went more left. I could have gone way been, more left. Way I more probably could have got more aggressive yeah. on second shot into the right, green. Right, right. Yeah, no, but, you, you would have been pin high if you if you took your tee shot a little left. Yep. We just got to get up and down now, make birdie. I'm really excited for this chip shot. I've hit horrible chips all day. It's time to redeem myself. Guys, look how look how wide this is. <laughs> we threaded it with the three wood chip shot across the green. I got a 56 degree. I'm gonna try and hook it, let it release and roll out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's just hanging, just hanging on. We got a birdie putt, a really good look at birdie. Up the hill here, probably six feet. Up the hill, little right to left. I love the look of this, for the birdie. Birdie. Come on. That's, oh. that's, that's gotta be 200 or something. Yeah, hey, <laughs> I got, we gotta go find him after the round. We didn't par it, we birdied it. Come on, let's go. It's a good birdie. Guys, you heard it on the tee box. The guy said if I par this hole, I get $100. Yeah, he was chirping. He was chirping. Yeah. And he's Mitchell's friend, so he's gotta pay up once you do it. They, you, like he was saying that he gambles a lot, that guy? Like he's, That guy's a big gambler. Okay. Big time gambler. Big so he was serious about it when he, when if you guys heard it on the tee shot, I was in, I was like mid setup and he, I was he about to swing chirping. and he started talking. I didn't know who that was at first and then I told Mitchell and then he's like, oh, that's a buddy of mine. No, yeah, I wanna make birdie and then we'll double it. There you it's go. 200. There you go. Guys, if you've made it this far in the video, I'm gonna share some craziness right now. So, coming up in March, as of now, I am attempting to qualify for a PGA Tour event. Kind of the first time I've even said anything about it. We'll have more details on that, but it's happening. And this year, we might do some Q School stuff for fun. We're gonna try and see. But the PGA Tour event thing is happening. It's gonna be awesome because we're gonna be able to film it all. It's really cool that they wanted to do this with us, but there'll be more details coming out really soon on that. You guys are probably gonna see a lot of golf balls up there. That's Qua and Kang and Mitchell, the guys I am playing with. So they've already hit. There's three balls on the green. Let's make it four. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh! Dude, that go in? No, it's short. Oh, no. It looked like it almost disappeared in the hole, but it, I think it's just short. That was a big draw there. That thing drew a good 10 yards. That's the first time I've hit a draw in a while. It feels good. Let's see if we can make it, guys. Let's go. Yeah. I, I thought it went in. We all thought, because it disappeared. Yeah. We all thought it went in. I think it's short. But it, that's like the first time I hit a draw. And I'll, like yeah. you were making me think. I was getting sad a little bit. I got emotional really? when you said that, you know, I used uh -huh. to hit a draw. Because like, uh -huh. I, I've heard that a couple times from people. And yeah. it's like, I don't Beautiful know where my draw draws. went. Because yeah. I, like, I tried to start hitting fades to control it more. Uh -huh. Yeah, but most I do, people do, right? Yeah, I just yeah. miss the draw though a little bit, yeah. you know? Oh my gosh, your draws are a thing of beauty. I love drawing it. That's fun. Wow, that is close. Up the hill, 10, 12 feet for birdie on this 200 yard par three. Oh, oh. Didn't move, huh? Wow. Yep, didn't move. That felt like the putt, Sky. Dang, man. I might be over reading them just a hair because I've missed two putts like that. Well, that would have been an unexpected birdie, but two more holes to go. It always comes down like this. It seems to always work this way. If you guys remember at the beginning of the video, Skylar said I had to start the day at one over. On the round today, without starting one over, I am three over on my own ball, nothing. So if we add the one over, I'm four over total heading in 
to two more holes. So I must go birdie birdie to make the cut. I believe in you. I'm four over starting at plus one. I truly believe in you. Come on. There is a chance. There's always a chance. Finish strong. Par four here. Made it a little longer. Not my best tee shot, but we're gonna have to stick this approach shot. We're holding nothing back. You gotta go birdie birdie, Sky. Fucking in. Birdie birdie. You're intimidating right there. Birdie birdie finish. We gotta do it. 192, five iron. Let's stick it. Oh my gosh, be good. Thank you. Can see where it's it crazy. Went, no, it's on the green. It was a good shot. Oh man, birdie luck. Gotta drain it. All right, walking down here. We got a great look. It's straight down the hill. Four over total, being plus one starting the day. Cuts two over, and there's no other way around it unless I miss this and hole out from the fairway. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather just make this and make birdie on the final one. Let's make it. These are the moments. These are the moments right here. Didn't move. Wow, that was crazy. I, when it was like just before the hole, I was like, there's no way this doesn't go in. I thought there was zero chance that doesn't go in. Got a hole out from the fairway now on the final hole. We're four over total, three over on today's round. Let's finish strong. I mean, this is the longest par four we have played all day. Our 18th hole, the ninth hole out here at Bay Hill. The thing is with golf, I remember in my brain, it, it scarred me a little bit hooking it the ninth hole today, out of bounds. So when that OB, I saw that left, definitely got my head a little bit there. Well, dude, it's been an absolute pleasure. For me, I mean, oh, you're, the, you're, the, you're, you're the teacher for me. So to play with you out here and see you rip a hill. Dude, well, you have a good swing, so Thank you're you. doing a great job. You've only been playing like, what, a year? A, uh, year? a little bit over a year. That's great. Dude, you're Thank so you. much better than I was. I was so no. bad at golf after a year. I was shooting hundreds. No. Yeah. yeah. I don't ever see you shooting hundreds. No, I was. I, oh, I, you, I was, you started playing young, huh? No, I was like four, 13, 14, oh, okay. but I was just really bad. I like, it didn't, I didn't pick up golf just naturally. Uh -huh. I mean, it took a lot of, uh -huh. a lot well, of time. Well, it looks super natural now. It's super. taking a lot of time. It's still yeah. not natural. We technically have a chance right now to make the cut if we somehow hold this out. This is probably one in a billion to hold us out. I gotta hit a low cut under this tree from 180. I'm hitting a six iron. Let's see if we can do it. It's actually gonna be challenging. Here we go. Oh, it drew, the mud. Sit there. Didn't get the cut part. I tried so hard today. I did. I'm gonna give it my all till it's in the hole, but it's gotta feel pretty tough on the PGA Tour missing the cut. It's gotta stink at this moment. Like you just know, you know you're, not, you're not making the weekend. All in all, guys, if I get this up and down right now, I would shoot on my ball today a three over par 75. First time seeing Bay Hill from the tips, which all in all is not bad at all. Today, I had to shoot one over or better. Gotta go high and soft with this. Yeah. Not bad, not my best. Uphill putt here for a 75. Let's drain it. I like long par putts. Those always seem to fall for me. Yeah, we've burned in the edges all day. That's a four over 76. Guys, I missed the cut by three shots. Three shots today. Tough day, but guys, hopefully you all enjoyed that. We're gonna be back at it again with another cut series coming soon at another PGA Tour course. Let me know which one you want me to play next. We've got a lot on the list um, coming up, but we've already checked off. I think this is our sixth cut series. So hopefully you all are enjoying that. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for some awesome content coming out. Peace.